welcome. Today I'm going to share with you all a recipe for a spicy baked pork and it's semi-sweet, semi-spicy or if you wanted to make it very spicy you can. So for this you'll need some pork slices or pork pieces and I have here two pounds of pork slices that are already washed and cleaned. To make this recipe I'm going to be adding some celery, some brown sugar, some green seasoning, sweet chili sauce, some oyster sauce, scallions, ketchup, some hot peppers and pimento peppers chopped. And the hot peppers is optional, but I like to make this dish very spicy. Some chopped onions. Some garlic. And some grated fresh ginger. Add some water, because we want to create a sauce. Mix to combine. Once this is mixed, set it aside, bring the pork across. Okay, to the pork I'm going to salt, well I'm going to pepper first. And I'm doing this separately because I want to see how much salt I'm putting in this because if you were to salt it when you mix it with your, your marinade there, you may put too much of salt. You just want to lightly season it, not too much of salt. And if you didn't want to use um, pork steaks or pork slices, you can try chicken, which I already have on my channel. I have this same recipe, but it's made with chicken. I'll leave the end card for it at the end of this video. Or you can try pork pieces, you can try lamb, you can try shrimp, you can try tofu, you can put paneer. Anything you want to put, you can make it all vegetables. So it's totally up to you. Next, place your pieces of pork into your mixture. And mix the combine. Next, cover and store this in your refrigerator overnight or for a couple of hours. After your pork has finished marinating overnight or for that couple of hours, you're gonna place it into a baking dish. Place all of the seasonings that have remained in the bowl onto the pork. Next, you're going to cover this. This goes into your oven to bake at 350 degrees for one hour. After that one hour, then we will uncover it and finish it. Okay, so it's been one hour. I just took the foil off and I'm just checking the pork pieces and it's... Look how tender this pork is. It's falling off the bone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I just put on my broiler. I'm going to let that heat up and then I'll just pop this under the broiler just to give the pork a little color. If you didn't want to do that step, you can omit it. But at this point, the pork would be ready to serve. So guys, the pork is finished. At this point, you can serve this with fried rice. You can serve it with macaroni pie. You can serve it with that potato balls that I have on my channel. You can serve it with plain rice. You can even serve it with pasta. So this would go great with a lot of sides. So I hope you guys try this recipe. Remember as I said, try it with a different protein if you don't eat pork. This is absolutely delicious. I absolutely love it. And I actually got this recipe from my mom. So I have to thank her for that. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!